Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Pisces. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we will break into that tarot deck. We will reveal that card at the end, see if it resonates with the reading. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Things may not be wanting to go together very well. Oh, there may be some unnecessary drama in your life. You may need to stand your ground. You could be tempted by something that is unreal. Okay, this is temptation. This is lust, but it's false. Okay, this is some sort of addiction, manipulation, control, lust, and lies. You know, it's time to make a conscious change. You may need to let go of something. Okay, to make a conscious change, to let go of something. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's lost. It feels like there may be some lack of awareness here. There could be some self-doubt. You could be doubting a situation. You could be feeling like, I can't, this is unreal. Something is unreal. You may be dealing with somebody who is very sexy, but they're unreal they bring a lot of drama with them put it that way lack of truth they're not truthful you're dealing with somebody who is not honest and truthful a lot of seduction yes there is Sexual. There's a lot of sexual attraction here. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you always want to defend yourself? Because that's what will happen if you always want to be on guard and having to defend yourself from somebody. Right here, there's somebody that uh, there's a lack of faith. Very, very impulsive energy. This person, whoever you're dealing with, may not be a keeper. They may, they may come in quickly, seduce you, and get the hell out just as quick as they came in. Yes, beware of false beginnings. You are dealing with somebody who is full of shit. Okay. I think it is time for you to become clear of a choice. Make sure that you are making the choice based on the right reasons. I think that your inner guide is telling you that because, you know, the Hierophant reverse next to the devil upright, you are getting conflicting messages within, okay? Inside, you know this isn't right, but the sexual desires are taking over. I feel like you're in denial. And we have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Taurus here. We have Scorpio here. No, this is Capricorn. We have Gemini. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is not stable. They're not secure. Um, and I think that you're in denial. Or, so, or they are. Somebody is in denial. And I feel like the only thing is somebody's trying to heal. You may be, you know, you're trying to heal from a situation perhaps by, you know, heading in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. See, there's a lack of, there's a, whatever's going on is it will bring some discontentment and it will not lead to commitment. You're dealing with somebody that is very self-centered, egotistical, and unable to commit. Okay. This person is very greedy um, and it doesn't lead to any new beginning here. With the two of wands reversed, I feel like there is some restriction here. And I feel like there are some delays in regards to finding the stability and security you're looking for. Whatever's happening here is going to lead to some sort of disappointment. And, you know, there could be... Um, some there could be some secrets i feel like you're there's something going on and i think you know that there's some secrets but you're ignoring them you're ignoring the truth your inner guy is telling you that something is up okay we have inner guide twice one of them is reversed under here okay so i feel like your inner guide is telling you that something is up something isn't right this person isn't being honest and truthful but you know the the desires that you have are are the driving force at this point okay I feel like you guys are not um, trusting. You're not trusting your intuition. You're not trusting your inner guide. I feel like you have persevered through a very hard time and you may be on the rebound, okay? I feel as though, you know, you're making progress. You're making progress after some sort of... Uh, freedom i think that you guys have freed yourself from a situation you're making progress with moving on but whatever you're heading towards doesn't lead to what you're really looking for doesn't lead to something solid and stable okay i feel like you are dealing with somebody that is probably very sexy but they aren't stable and secure and they're the fly by the seat of the pants kind of person doesn't lead to any sort of partnership here i feel like whoever you're dealing with will come and go very quickly Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that is lying, manipulative. They are very sneaky, and it doesn't lead to love. So I don't know who this is, but you're not being wise. Okay, you're not you're not making the right decision. This right here is somebody. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is not um, being practical. Okay, you're not being very practical here. Yeah, there's no new beginning here. There isn't. Whoever you're dealing with now, there's no new beginning. There's no new start. And you know it. Your inner guide is telling you that. But maybe it's you wearing the mask. Maybe you don't want to hear it. Maybe you don't want to see it. You have desires that are needs that need to be met, right? Here we have, it's, you need to act with integrity, right? Where's the integrity? Maybe the other person doesn't have integrity. I don't know. Integrity is needed here. It's time to make a decision. A final decision is time to be honest with yourself I feel like there is a, a choice here that you have to make it's a heavy weight you have to make a, a choice here and it's a heavy choice okay and I think you know that somebody is being dishonest but you're turning a blind eye to it and there's some greed here. There's some greed. I feel like somebody is um, obsessed. There's some obsession here. They're obsessed with something. Maybe it's sex. I don't know. Maybe you're obsessed with finding love and you're being impulsive. There's absolutely some impulsive behavior here. Either way, there's, there's no... Um, new beginning that leads to something solid no new beginning that leads to something solid because there's some lies somebody is absolutely not telling the truth but you, you're, you're turning a blind eye to it you know it, your inner guide knows that this isn't right, this isn't true doesn't lead to love it's unrealistic okay, you could be dealing with an Aries you could, there are all the signs are here Okay, but I feel like you are dealing with something that is going to leave you very dissatisfied in the end. Okay, and you know, you may feel like mm, 
you're in control. I think that this is there's there's a lot of the 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 devil card is about control too, power and control. This is also about power and control. I think this is that has something to do with power and control. Being dominant, dominating the situation. I feel like you just want to be together with somebody. Maybe you're looking to, you know, be in some sort of stable commitment here and you're just being too impulsive. Because this is very impulsive as well. He's very impulsive. Doesn't make the right decisions sometimes because he's too impulsive. I feel like there is some decision that needs to be made in regards to a partnership. Whether you stay or go or what do you deserve. This is thinking about leaving. Thinking about leaving a relationship. Thinking about turning your back on somebody because you deserve more. Rejecting their offer because you really know deep down that this isn't what you want. I think there is going to be a rejection. Okay, whether there, somebody is rejecting you or you're rejecting them. You know, I think that there's a chance that somebody could come in, do the deed, and get the hell out, and that's about it. Either you are going to turn your back on them, or they are going to turn your back their back on you. There is going to be some sort of rejection because this is not realistic, and it's a very dissatisfying, and it does not lead to love. So I don't know who you're dealing with here, but somebody is not telling the truth. And there's a lot of unnecessary drama. There's some sort of sexual desires here that are paving the way and causing somebody to act impulsively and they're probably gonna get hurt in the end. You ready? Worry, imagine that. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. The outcome is going to be the same. You know what is going on. Do you choose to listen to your inner guide or you do you choose to ignore it? That is the question. Whatever's going on here, it doesn't lead to love. It might lead to some passionate sex, but that's about it. Talk to you later.